a global measles outbreak. While no local cases have been confirmed, the reality is different across the United States and around the world. Doctors seeing a surge of the highly contagious disease. Early this week, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reporting 60 confirmed cases in 17 states, more than 58 cases in all of 2023. Notably, most were associated with international travel and involved children aged at least one year old who were unvaccinated. And while Guam may be in the clear of the uptick for now, Public Health's Chief Medical Officer Dr. Bob Leon Guerrero is advising the community not to let their guard down. The problem is, though, that there's places where a lot of people like to travel that are seeing measles. Uh, the U.S., uh, the Philippines, and when we usually have our outbreaks, it's usually uh, linked to either Japan or the Philippines, but mostly the, the Philippines. Dr. Leon Guerrero stressing the importance of measles vaccinations as the disease could turn deadly. The last time Guam had a major outbreak was 1994, and I saw both uh, professionally and personally what measles can do. We had uh, over 600 cases of the measles, three deaths. Uh, my own son uh, dropped from 20 pounds to 16 pounds in one day, even though he's breastfed. Uh, he was not even a year old at the time. It's a bleak time bringing up memories for Tumon resident John Battelle. He and his family all catching the measles as kids. Battelle echoing Dr. Bob's sentiments on vaccines. We've been doing it for 60 years. I mean, I'm living proof it works. Dr. Leon Guerrero advises the community to check in with their physicians to ensure their children's measles vaccines is up to date, especially before international travel and to places with high levels of the disease.